As we've reported over the past couple of weeks, what you saw in Lareles and the damage there just repeated around the valley. Flooding also having a big impact on many of the valley's winter Texans and park owners. Channel 5's Christian Von Pricing joins us with what they've been experiencing. Christian. Mobile home residents are working to bounce back after serious flooding tore through their parks. When the rains came through this mobile home park in Mission, the water came with fury and force. No pude salir. I couldn't get out, says Maria Cantu. Two weeks later, the ground is dry. She's still amazed. La esta se cayó para acá. Her standing freezer, a makeshift float, she says. And her collection of nursery plants and outdoor fixtures. Todo esto andaba nadando. It was all swimming around, she says. Cantu wasn't the only one that got hit in Roland Holmes RV Park. Folks here either rent a spot and own the trailer or rent a trailer. All those rented trailers and all the park fixtures meant a lot of work for Carl Rice. He's a Michigan native. He lives here and also does the park's maintenance. Some of them got it pretty bad. They had to get the floor. Some of the floors are going to have to be redone. Some of the under coating of their vehicles all had to be drained out and cleaned out. Clubhouse got walls and new cupboards and stuff on. Rice boxes, refrigerators and stuff all got deteriorated and won't work. He showed us pictures of just how bad it got. The floating fridge in the clubhouse, the lots nearly knee deep in water, and the people affected. The older people here, most of these young fellows try to help them out. Gotcha. Yeah, that's good. The, the, the old lady down here is 90 some years old. Her neighbor come over and helps her take her motor home apart underneath and take everything out and lay it out. Yeah. And of course, what went to trash went to the dumpsters and everything dried out and they put it back. Yeah. We're going out to dinner with her tomorrow. She took it, she won't take it out to lunch tomorrow. We don't want no pay, but she got to take us to lunch. So I got to take you to lunch. <laughs> he says despite the setback, most people in the park are pretty resilient. Oh, yeah, I'm sure they'll stick around, most of them. Some of them would like to move up around the higher area from down by the park, but who knows? He says only time will tell what the major flooding means for the future of this park. That's why we're raising money for a helping hand for people like these who really, really need the help and who've been through a lot and need help bouncing back. Now, there's three ways you can donate. You can donate here in, in McAllen. You can donate in Westlake. You can donate in Brownsville as well. And we're going to be here till 7 p.m. We're accepting donations to fill this bucket until 7 p.m. today. We'll also be here again tomorrow. You can go to a Lone Star National Bank. If that's closer to your house, you can go there and make a donation as well or you can donate online. You can donate by going to krgv.com and we've set up a link there where you can make your donation and all this money, all the money that goes in here will stay in the Valley to help people who need it the most. Live in McAllen, Christian Mon Pricing, Channel 5 News at 6.